Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix crashing fringing issue with Shadow Warrior 3 game on your Windows computer. The first step is to verify the game files. Now this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So make sure that you verify the game file. For this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. And after the verification, launch the game. Now the next step is to restart your computer. So just restart your computer. Sometimes a simple restart fixes the problem. Now the next step is to put DX11 in launch option. For this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties. And under the general tab here, you can see launch option. So in the launch option, type in dash DX11 and then launch the game. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus, make sure that you allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now, if you are using Windows security, then go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now, if you have Windows 11, click on privacy and security, then click on Windows security. If you have Windows 10, click on update and security, then click on Windows security. Now, click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down here, you can see manage ransomware protection. Click on it, then click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow, then click on add an allowed app, then click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, so open the game folder. In my case, it's in C drive. So open program files x86, then open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam apps folder and then open the common folder. Over here, you will find Shadow Warrior 3 game folder. Open this folder. And then over here, you will find the game exe file. Select the game exe file, then click on open. In my case, the game is still downloading, so I don't have the exe file available right now. Select the exe file, then click on open. And after this, launch the game. Now, the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. Go to NVIDIA website, select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here and select the right operating system and then click on start search and then scroll down. This is the latest driver. Click on get download and then click on download now. Now once the download is complete, run this exe file. Now you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next. And then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next and after the clean installation restart you can now the next step is to run the game exe file as an administrator from the game installation folder so go to the game installation folder so make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files now this will straight away take you to the game installation folder so open the game folder then make a right click on the game exe file in my case i don't have the exe file right now it's downloading but you will find your game exe file i'm showing with different game this is just an example so open this shadow warrior 3 game folder and then make a right click on the game exe file select properties go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator put a check over here and then click on apply okay and then launch the game from the game installation folder so open the game folder and then make a double click on the game exe file and launch the game from the game installation folder now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic cards so type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings now make sure desktop app is selected over here now click on browse now again go to the game installation folder and then Open the Steam folder, first of all, and then open Steam apps, and then open the common folder, then open Shadow Warrior 3 game folder, select the game exe file, and then click on add, and once the game exe file is added, this is just an example, once the game exe file is added, click on it, then click on options, select high performance, then click on save, now launch the game. Now the next step is to update Windows to the latest version, make sure that your Windows is up to date, for this go to the start menu, click on settings. Click on update and security or windows update and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed, restart your computer and then try to launch the game. Next step is to install DirectX file for this. Go to this website. This will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see DirectX file. Click on download. And once the download is complete, run the exe file. And after the installation, 
after the installation, restart your computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to install Visual C++ file for this. Go to the this link and then it will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19 and 22. Install x86 x, x and x64 version. You download both the exe file, click on both the exe file and run both the exe file that is x86 and x64 version. Now click on repair or install. You might see the install option or repair option. Click on it. Click on yes to allow. Run both the exe file that is x64 version as well. Now click on repair or install whatever you see. Click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Now once both the installation is complete, restart your computer and then launch the game. So once both the installation is complete, click on restart and restart after the restart launch the game now the next step is to install media feature pack so if you have windows n edition make sure that you install media feature pack for this go to the start menu then click on settings now go to apps then click on optional features in windows 10 you will find an option which add a feature click on add a feature in windows 11 click on view feature now type in media feature pack over here now once you type in media feature pack over here, you will see media feature pack like this. Put a check on the box which says media feature pack and then click on install. Next install. Next and then click on install. Now in my case, I don't have media feature pack because I have Windows 11 home. But in your case, if you have Windows N edition, then you will see media feature pack. Put a check on the box and then click on install. After the install, restart your computer and launch the game. Now disconnect multiple monitors if you have connected. Turn off all these Razer software, MSI software, Corsair software. Now end Nahimic services in case of ASUS computer. Make a right click on the start menu, then click on task manager. And then over here you will find Nahimic services running. So if you find it, select it, then click on end task. This is just an example. I don't have this services running. If you find these services, end it in the task manager. Remove the undervolt. Do not overclock. Close all the overclocking applications. So if you have MSI Afterburner running the computer, make sure that you close MSI Afterburner. If you have Reva Tuner running the computer, make sure that you close Reva Tuner. Now, also close Disable Steam Overlay. For this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select Properties, uncheck the box which says Enable the Steam Overlay while in game and then launch the game. Also close all the overlay applications. So if you have Discord running the computer, close Discord. Now, if you have GeForce Experience running the computer, make sure that you close GeForce Experience. This is also overlay application. So close all the overlay application. Perform clean boot. For this, type in system configuration in Windows search box, then click on system configuration. Now go to the services tab. And then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Make sure that you put a check over here first. Then click on disable all. In my case, disable is grayed out. I already did it. In your case, this, this will be highlighted. So put a check over here first. Then click on disable all. Then click on apply. OK. And then you will see the restart option. Restart your computer and then launch the game. Now, if you are able to launch the game, try to run the game in window mode and lower down graphic settings. So go to the in-game settings and for graphic setting, if the quality is set to high or ultra, you can select medium or low quality and then try to launch the game. Now, the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. If nothing works for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on uninstall. Now, after the uninstall, uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder from the game installation folder and then restart your computer. And after the system restart, reinstall the game to a different drive. So you can select any other hard drive if you have so select other hdd or if you have ssd try to install the game to ssd and then check so one of the steps should help you to get the game running on your computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel